Okay, so how do we import a PDF which has a PMID? I can import a folder of PDFs or I can import a single PDF. So I simply select the import option to PDF and if the PDF has a PMID, look how smart a note would be. It would capture for me the title, abstract and everything else in details. Where do I read the details about the citation? If I click on the citation itself, I can go to the reference preview. Let's take another example. So here, so the preview, the reference, the author, I can change whatever I want in them and I, if I click close or I move into another title, it would ask me, do you want to save the changes? I would say yes or no. What are the display fields here and how can I manipulate with them? For example, I might want to add research notes to each and every one. It appears here somewhere towards the end or captions so I select the display field to be research notes how to change I can have up to 10 uh, columns I click here if I say gray with not black it means I have selected the maximum 10 columns so I have to unselect one and choose another one or I come to the settings of endnote which is here edit preferences and display fields since I'm in the edit, let's talk about, remember when I told you if you change institutions, you don't have to come and uh, install in EndNote again. So you come directly to the find full text and you change the open URL path here. Another thing is PDF handling. You can manipulate with the PDF handling of the uh, EndNote. Red and red standard uh, settings. The sync option, which is with the EndNote web. So when you register, you come and sign in, uh, plug in your email and password here for it to be able to sync it for you. The display of the duplicates, didn't I tell you that EndNote and Medline are 40 to 50% in common? So if you're doing your search across Medline and EndNote uh, and Embase, you'll have duplications. To remove these duplicates, I come to the duplicates and I select whether I want to compare based on author, title, year, reference type which comes by default or I can choose to unselect few. The more you add or select boxes, the less the duplicates will uh, I will have. I don't select usually exact matches and you will still have the caps uh, insensitive because if you find for example the American American capital and American small in another title this wouldn't be captured as duplicate how then would I capture it and then I click apply or ok by simply clicking here which is the sorting of the title and you can uh, manually go over them so if I want to select duplicates from here I simply click on the old references select one control a and then I click references find duplicates it will highlight them for me and it would do me this I would click close simply it will highlight the in the blue the duplicate record for example I if I have a record a a prime a double prime it would keep a and remove a prime a double prime and I simply click delete they go into the trash so the duplicate references remain and the others go to the trash that's the way how I remove duplicates. If I want to add the PDFs, if you can see here, this is the attachment. I click on one, control A, right click, find full text and another time find full text. And it shows me here how many it's searching and how many did it upload. Say I already had done this and got this, which is, has the attachment. These are the details of the bibliography, the preview, how would it appear in the referencing and then the attached PDF. Indexing the PDF. Sometimes it gives me it gives me the link like here. Okay. There's the. Come on, let let's have one. Found. So I can, from here this drop down menu 
which one is it? Until it ends all of it. I can manipulate. I can rotate clockwise, strike through, highlight, add sticky notes. So you, you have all of what you want in the references here. And then when you select another title, it would ask you if you want to save or not save. Usually. Okay. Now I have known all the features of EndNote. These are all plus the advanced, including uh, adding journals, uh, styles, so on and so forth are in the libguide. If I have a reference list, so sometimes I got to review uh, people who tell me, I have done a review of 90 articles and I didn't know about EndNote later. I tell them, okay, you have all to do two steps. First step, if you have them as PDFs, you import the folder. Out of the 90, say 50 are captured and 50 have PMID. The rest will be imported uh, with just the PDF and nothing filled. So I select them and I delete them. I have the remaining 40 as lists of articles. How can I go about them? Either by Google Scholar, copying and pasting each title and adding it to the My Library as I showed you, or by coming to the search all. So for example, one of the article titles is Comparative Risk Factors. And I save a search for it. If I found it as full text or not, say this is it, for example. I click here. It goes to the folder. I do the same for the rest of the article. So another article is called Lebanon, for example, just for the showing you. This is a temporary search versus the Google Scholar is a permanent search. So if you're doing another search, you will have to uh, remove the previously done searches. So click here again, so it's the plus. Do this for the 40 remaining database uh, the articles. Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste until you have 40. Export to and note. Et voila. You'll have also a file in which you click, it uploads. If it's an RIS, so it has to open because uh, Embase was also an RIS. Now that we've collected all what we have, I will simply open a Word document to start working on the citing of my papers. Oh, come on. I hate it when this happens. Okay, so these are the two articles that are from the search all. Now they're in the all references. Now I'm gonna be working with my Word document, with my paper. Where's the add on of EndNote? It would show on the very top. Okay. So can you see here, it, there's the, the add-on here. If I have this text, for example, and I have used one of the citations, the 200 something that I've collected, I have two methods of inserting the citations. I can either go to EndNote or I can click Insert Citation. Simultaneously, the last library that you, have that you are opening, it will link me here. Okay, so let me type in Lebanon and not, not the author, the title for it because this is what I remember and I click find and then this is the article that I want I click insert it has inserted for me the in-text citation and the out-text simultaneously say in the other one I w I'd rather select the other way around so I want this Reference and this I have used both of them into this uh, Paragraph so I would click here. I would select them and then I click this one insert citation Et voila. What type what style am I using Vancouver? It's advisable for the styles to be here and Here the same if I want to change the style I would click on APA and it will change White cell. See how nice this is. If I want, for example, for me when I select this, 
they to, for it to take me directly through here go into the lip guide because this is more advanced when you're reviewing your paper with somebody else always 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 ask your reviewer to share to open your end note library that you will share with him the same time at the same time while reviewing your, the word document because if he or she changes the paragraphs this will change automatically and don't you you don't have to do the work again because this has happened to a couple of people who couple of users who came back to me with this issue okay so simply by a click I have the in text and the out text citations how do I share my library this is for 14 times if I want to share it I go to file compressed library click next look how does it show now 